This was perhaps the deepest division in all of harness racing for 1992, and one of its brightest stars was Western Hanover, whose earnings hit $1.8 million. In late May, Western Hanover paced a sizzling 150 and 4 mile to win the New Jersey Classic Final at the Meadowlands. What a pacer on the inside. In between them, Carl's Bad Cam. And up on the outside, off a perfect trip, Western Hanover for William Fay is rolling on by. And it's Western Hanover who takes command in deep stretch and is off by two, two and a half. It's Western Hanover in 150 and four. In August, it was off to Northfield for the $200,000 Cleveland Classic. Ran him down, Western Hanover. He's out there by three, trying to make it up on the outside. Osborne Stoner with Stubby B as they come to the wire. It's Western Hanover. He's it, and that's that. Trainer Gene Regal and Western Hanover launched their bid for the pacing Triple Crown in late August in the $484,000 Kane Pace Final at Yonkers. It's Western Hanover by two and a half, nuclear high second, Western Hanover in front and drawing away. In early September, Western Hanover went to Freehold for the James B. Dancer Memorial Final. They're in the stretch for the finish. Nuclear high has the lead. Down on the inside, Western Hanover. They'll come to the wire. Western Hanover, he's tons the best. Western Hanover, Bill Fay. A week after this race, Western Hanover tried for the second leg of the Triple Crown in the $367,000 Messenger Stakes at Rosecroft. Western Hanover leads the pack. Racing second is safely kept. Up on the outside, Nuclear High begins his charge. They're off the turn. They're on their way to the finish in the 1992 Messenger. It's Western Hanover now. He goes to the whip on the outside, safely kept. Western Hanover wins the Messenger in 153 and 1. The son of no nukes barely missed the Triple Crown, but not before an impressive 153 and 3 win in the second heat of the Little Brown Jug at Delaware. Western Hanover gets the nose in front. Fake left is second. The outside Gamma Ray, eighth of a mile to go. Fake left. Western Hanover digs in. Nose to nose. Western Hanover on the outside gets up. Western Hanover was upset in the Breeders' Crown. But he came back strong in late November, winning the $350,000 Windy City Pace at Maywood. And Western Hanover cuts the corner. Humstinger is out for the drive. On the inside, it's Barrett's Avenger and Survivor Gold. It's Western Hanover at the wire.